Hello and welcome to Smarter Tech. I'm here with Dr. Marc Arazi from France, who's behind uh, the originator of the PhoneGate alert. Uh, Dr. Arazi, thank you so much for taking the time today. Yeah, thanks to you, Nick. Uh, it's the second time that you make an interview about uh, our action, so th thanks a lot. Sure, and back in 2018, I think it, it might have been four years ago that we spoke on my YouTube channel. It was in French, and I did the subtitles, but I know that for a lot of English speakers, it was a little bit tedious to listen to, but uh, I'm sure you've been talking in English a lot in the last years. I think your English is excellent, uh, personally, and I've been also learning uh, by literally doing hundreds of interviews in, in the last uh, in the last few years, but uh, I can't wait to do an update about what's been happening since the last time we talked. And I'll refer to that video in the show notes, of course. But basically, uh, please tell us a little bit more about yourself and then how the phone gate alert story weaves in uh, your career. So I'm a general practitioner and uh, I follow this issue, this issue since something like 20 years now. So uh, uh, the, the, what we see that uh, uh, during all this time, uh, very few change uh, about the, the precautionary uh, made by the, the government, all the government, not just in France and uh, in US and in Canada too. And what's changed with the phone gate scandal that for the first time in 2016, uh, we obtain that uh, uh, some information, some data uh, from the, the SAR uh, test made by France uh, was re released. It was a very big battle to obtain that, and we talked that, about that in 2018. And uh, uh, for the first time, we had the, the legal proof that uh, we had all been overexposed and, uh, and this overexposure to our cell phone was uh, really dangerous for our health. And then with the phone gets gone, we can prove that. Yeah, and you talked about overexposed. How is it uh, exactly that we are being overexposed? Please talk about the, the SAR that you mentioned, the specific absorption rate, and how exactly... Um, what was the issue with manufacturers testing phones at a distance that was not realistic? In the end, I, it's my understanding of the issue, right? Yeah, you, you, you say everything about that. They, they, they tested the, the cell phone at a distance of 20, 15 to 25 millimeters. Uh, since 20 or 25 years, uh, we, we have been exposed at this distance. And uh, in 2012, uh, our nat national uh, French agency uh, with INFR uh, was afraid about that. And what they've done secretly, they have uh, uh, begun to test cell phone, not at 15 or 25 millimeters, but at zero or five millimeters. And what they find was hopeful <laughs> with the SAR, the specific absorption rate was five, seven, 10, 12, more than uh, the, the level not to, uh, uh, to, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, to de, 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 you say that. Uh, like uh, it went over the limit. Yeah, over the limit. Multiple times and, like over the limit, yeah. And also uh, when the, 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 the manufacturer uh, put the SAR uh, on the notice of the, the cell phone, it was uh, like uh, maybe uh, 0 0.3 watt by kilo. And uh, when we see the, the result after our battle, the gold battle, we see that it was sometimes 10 or 20 times more than what the manufacturer uh, wrote in the, in the notice. So uh, it was really important to understand that uh, for this industry, the most important is to be able to connect people to, to each other, you know? And for that, uh, they need uh, to have uh, all the, the possibility to do this connectivity. And what they've done uh, is to make a, a regulation, 
not only with the distance, uh, the, the distance the way you test the cell phone, but all the regulation uh, is um, not protecting the, the people's uh, health. And also, they used uh, this indicator, the SAR, uh, with a very, very uh, bad indicator, you know? Because when you have an indicator, it seems to be uh, maybe you would like to be to have a good indicator, you know, to protect people. And what we have is a very bad indicator that uh, is protecting just from uh, the, the thermal effects, uh, because you you have uh, microwaves uh, effects, and you, you understand that uh, for for and they are not. Um, saying nothing about the non thermal effect of the of the waves. So yeah. that's a major problem. And this, at this moment in France, we are uh, studying with our national uh, air agency the way to, to, to find a new indicator to protect oh. people. Yeah. That's very nice. So you're trying to have the SAR replaced and to give people some background, you talk about the thermal effect versus non-thermal. My understanding is the SAR is just a, a change in internal temperature of that mannequin head that they use, but this is not reflective really. An increase in temperature could be damaging, but there are also those non-thermal effect. Uh, for example, the sperm count reduction or sperm quality reduction is not based on heat, uh, and that's been proven over and over and over again. No, it's it's both. Nick, uh, it's uh, you, for fertility, you have also the the thermal effects. Huh? Both, uh, yeah, yeah, it's both, but. Uh, what is important to, to understand that we have a very bad indicator and uh, we can prove that this indicator uh, is mostly uh, an indicator for industry and not for protecting the health of people. And in the book I just released, because uh, uh, it's, it's important that uh, people, uh, you, you say that people have no more, not much information about uh, uh, this health issue, but there is information uh, now. You can uh, have all the information about what what the, the cell phone industry I to 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 billion of users of cell phone, and uh, it's really important. But also, what we can see, mostly for young people, I was in Netherlands last uh, last week, and mm -hmm. what I saw, it's all the people putting the the cell phone. Uh, it's a reflex. They put it in the the, the pan pocket all the time, you know, yeah. uh, and they they don't imagine that uh, in doing this, uh, it's really dangerous for the for, for for the health, and that's a major problem because we we see that all the time now. If you go uh, everywhere, you see people and in the film and uh, to the cinema and in the TV. And uh, I don't know how we are going to, to change all this because people uh, are doing this all the time uh, for young people and for children. They are doing all the same. And uh, they don't imagine that uh, industry uh, doesn't take care about uh, their health and what they have done. So it's why it's so important that uh, and, uh, I thank you to, 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 <laughs> to give me the time to explain about the, the way we have to change, uh, because it's very easy, it's free, it's very easy to protect himself, not putting the, the cell phone near uh, the head or in, in, a, in a pocket. Yeah, Maybe, and, uh, and doing so, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's just maddening. It, there, there seems to be two problems uh, here. The first one that you've identified with, with phone gate alert is, well, in the first place, they don't even follow the SAR, right? They, they kind of they seem to try to circumvene the rules and go with the maximum possible exposition to users rather than the minimal possible, right? It's, it's as if manufacturers, I don't know why they do this. I guess it's just that if their phone has better connectivity, it will be better than the competitors. So it's almost like everyone wants to have the maximum power possible or else they're, maybe they're afraid that the connectivity wouldn't be good. I don't know, but uh, you found, it, it, it was just maddening to me that 
in the last several years since we spoke, there's been a lot of confirmation of the work that has been uh, done originally in France, those tests showing that most phones, when you go to zero or five millimeters, so in other words, at real life, you have a phone right on your skin, right? Not at a distance who like no one talks at a distance or your pocket is not floating in the air 2.5 centimeters or 25 millimeters in the air right so so the way that people use it most phones actually fail the SAR test that that is uh, itself obsolete but there's been confirmation for example the Chicago Tribune in 2019 uh, a Pulitzer winning um, investigated journalist uh, Sam Rowe I think oh, yeah. uh, exactly wrote about that then there was a uh, an independent also RF lab in 2020. So what has been happening exactly with these different cases? Are they reinforcing the case that you have? And um, what is the update here? Because I, I, I know that on your website and I encourage everyone to look at a phone gate alert and I'll, I'll have all the links because you talk about all the phones that have been updated or even retired from the market. Yeah. just because of the actions of your organization yeah uh a lot of things to say uh, yeah for first, sure <laughs> yeah you, 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 what, you, what you say it's, it's important that to uh, people know that in france now we have uh, 34 different models of cell phone who has been withdraw or update wow. since 2018 and uh you will be very happy for canadian people because uh, we, we have good news for our Canadian people uh, with the help of uh, our uh, local correspondent whose name is Sharon Nobel, who is from uh, Canada, and uh, she makes a real, real good job. And, uh, <laughs> I would like to, to say that to, to all. And after two years of battle, uh, she obtained that uh, the, he said that your, your local regulator uh, uh, published uh, the first list of the cell phone uh, he said as tested. And it was something like 90 cell phones. And we can show that uh, in the 19 cell phones tested in Canada, eight uh, was... Um, over the limit, the, the two watt by kilo. And uh, we, no one in Canada didn't hear before <laughs> before that. And we, for example, I will give this example because it, it seems crazy. Like, uh, you know, that Google is making uh, a cell phone and uh, the pixel of sure. Google uh, for SAR head was something, one of them was something uh, like 5.4 uh, what by kilo uh, for the SAR head. We, we didn't see that for all, all over the world. And uh, what you have to, 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 so we can say that, and it's crazy to say that uh, six years after uh, we launched the alert uh, in France, that in Canada already today, uh, the distance they tested the cell phone, it's all already 10 millimeters or 15 millimeters. 15 millimeters. They didn't change, you know? So they're so, still using the old yeah, distance. Yeah, and... yeah, we, yeah, we obtained, the, because we, we are making a, a ping pong party with the, <laughs> with the, sure. the Canadian uh, industry, uh, the, the Canadian government. Yeah. And uh, we, we forced them to, to publish the, the, the way the distance they, they measure and the test. And it all, at this time, it's 10 millimeters for 80% of the cell phone they, they have tested. And it was uh, 15 millimeters for 10%. And uh, like this, you, you, you are overexposed with this distance. And uh, um, the, the remarkable uh, work of uh, uh, Sam Rowe, the, the Pulitzer uh, journalist uh, uh, from the Chicago Tribune, make, make it very clear. So after the, after the, 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 public, the publication of uh, this article in the United States, it was in 2019, something like three, three years ago, there was two important legal action, one in the United States and one in Canada. So at this moment, you have uh, uh, an action. And 
we are in contact with uh, Charles O'Brien, who is the, the, the lawyer and the barrister who is uh, making this, uh, this action. And we, we give uh, the, to, to, to the team all the information from France. And <laughs> it was really crazy to see because there was a, um, um, uh, at, uh, uh, a few a few days ago, uh, we 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 send him, and we we see that uh, he sent all the information to the judge directly, you know. And we were part of this, and I see that it was crazy to see uh, that uh, all this information from France and Canada was so important for 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 the the action in Canada, and we have. And it's not a really a good news uh, because uh, you, uh, I suppose you are informed about that. But uh, the legal action against Apple, uh, um, there was a judgment a few days ago, something like uh, at the end of August, and uh, we we um, we didn't have uh, good news because the judgment was uh, was not for for the the plaintiff. Really? So, wow. Yeah, no, I yeah, did not yeah, know that. That's yeah, news yeah. for me. That's very. So, uh, do you know details about why this happened? Or yeah, it's it was really uh, it's difficult because because at this moment we are studying the the judgment and we are not. Uh, uh, it's, it was really about the um, the the way the the. Um, the of the law in, in U.S. and it's very complicated because yeah. Uh, yeah, you know it was not really a judgment about health and the, the, the problem of health. It was something like a battle of uh, uh, legal uh, about uh, legacy on about FCC and uh, it's really it's really complicated. Yeah. So, but in those battle and the message we can say to all the people who are fighting and there is many uh, that in the battle like this with uh, industry and uh, so strong industry it will take time to <laughs> to obtain uh, justice and uh, yeah. but what we can say that we have now so many information, you know, and almost from France, because uh, when I see that in Canada, you, you are using at this moment 10 and 15 millimeters, uh, we, we obtain that the, the French government uh, make a, a, a special objection uh, to the European Commission to us now to have zero millimeters distance for all the stars. You know, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. So you see the difference between what we are trying to 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 do in France at this moment. It's zero for head and uh, and, and extremities, and it's five for trunk. Okay. And uh, we we are working to have zero for everyone. Uh, and in in Canada and in US, you see the difference, and it's crazy because. Uh, in the, uh, the article of the Washington, the, the Chicago Tribune, you see like three millimeters for an Apple. Uh, it was an Apple iPhone 7. It was not compliant for the star uh, at, uh, f at five millimeters. I think it was something like more than two, 2.2, something like that. And after, if you change at two millimeters of the skin, three millimeters are different. It was eight. What by kilo? Yeah, for three millimeters. So, you imagine if you say that you are at ten or, or at fifteen millimeters. So, it's why it's so you say it's it's so important that people uh, try to to take a moment to to uh, to think about that, you know, because phone is always in our, in, our, in our hand, in our pocket, in our head. Uh, all the time we, we, we are using cell phone. And we, I'm not sure that people want to know that there was such a problem with, uh, with the cell phone because uh, we need it all the time now. So th there is a contradiction, you know. Uh, but our work and my, my, my duty as a medical doctor is to say, what what is the problem? You know, not to 
to say, oh, I don't want to see, no, <laughs> to see yeah. nothing, you know, it's, uh, it's not good. Yeah, uh, and, and to, to clarify, maybe some people that maybe are new to this uh, SAR testing don't understand how is it that just a few millimeters can make such of a difference. That's because of the inverse square law. So the, basically, as you create distance, the the exposition level will decrease, but not in a in a linear way, in in an exponential way. So that's why when you have a phone uh, a foot from the head, you lose about eighty percent of the intensity and and ninety percent at two feet. But the intensity, if you go from zero to one millimeter, there's in fact a huge difference. So that's why this battle is very important right now in Canada. I can only imagine how much people are getting exposed multiple, multiple times more than the limit, which which itself might be completely bogus if you believe the scientists that say, well, that's not even sufficient. So, But do talk about what can manufacturers do, uh, right? Some do software updates. So I guess for some of them, it's as simple as writing a line of code and making sure that the phone doesn't emit as much, right? Or for some phones, I get, I guess they just remove them from the market because it's not worth it. Um, it's complicated because, you know, uh, uh, it's why I think it's important that people, we, we have the, uh, the lack now that we have been uh, translated the book, the French book in English. So uh, it's uh, 400 pages to, to explain all this, to, yeah. to, explain to, to explain to all people very simply, not technically. Uh, what, what's going what's going on uh, but what we can say that uh, uh, to imagine uh, about what we have obtained in France uh, we, we ask our uh, national fetch uh, agency for health ANSES uh, they make in the end of 2019 so it was three years ago uh, a special a special report with name phone gate report okay And what they asked to the French government, uh, and why, why, why I say that, because we are talking to Canadian people. What, what did they say? They wrote it, and everyone can read it. You read French in Canada. So sure. please see and, and share this report, what they asked to the French government. It's to withdraw or update all the cell phone was been in the market, uh, sold in the market before June 2017. Imagine. And why? Because it was at this distance, a realistic distance of 10 or 15 or 25 millimeters. Yeah. In Canada, you are in the same situation. And we have a national French agency. We say that they say to the French one, you have to put it away. Uh, uh, we, we, after that, It was just before the, the, appear, the appearance of the COVID. And uh, there was a big problem because during two years, it was COVID, COVID, COVID. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we talk just about COVID. But now uh, we can talk about phone gate. And also what I can say about the software, uh, because why is uh, phone gate, diesel gate? You, you see the, the, the similarity of the, yeah, the yeah. word. And uh, why? Because... What we knew that I was talking about um, people, anonymous people who are helping for the internet, and those people are from inside the industry. Okay. And what they explain to us that, uh, and to journalists too, uh, uh, it's that they, they put spyware, software, who can... Uh, Or, or algorithm who, who, when you make the test of the cell phone, uh, the, the spyware can detect that we are on a test and they will manage the, 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 the SAR, who has been uh, uh, the, the SAR from the manufacturer. They, they, they hide the real SAR. And why What? this? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's incredible. And why they, they are doing this? Because the regulation, it's, it's, uh, you understand, a very, very poor regulation, a very bad regulation. Yeah. But it's not sufficient because there is a war between all the, the manufacturers and what they have to do. Because if you have uh, a low SAR, a real low SAR, 
it's you, your cell phone will be much more marketable or <laughs> commercially uh, uh, well, uh, uh, good commercial, you know, and yeah. and what what they have done is uh, to 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 use this algorithm also this power, and this power can detect when the the, the cell phone is in the mode test, you know, by an, uh, by a laboratory, and they manage to change the star, the real star, so. We, we, we are now like, uh, we have more and more information about the way all this industry try to, to minimize, uh, the level of SAR. And when if not, it's not sufficient, they can do, as I say, uh, use this, uh, <laughs> this strategy, uh, to, to minimize more uh the 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 saw you know so i explain all this in the book and i explain how the people from some people of, of the industry are enough courageous to to come <laughs> and talk to us yeah. and uh, uh to be able to to be uh to explain that to to all the people Wow, that's shocking. And yeah, it reminds me of, I, I don't know all the diesel, uh, the diesel gate uh, details, but part of it was uh, software fraud, I think, that a few people in uh, Volkswagen were aware of and it, how the cars were tested for emissions, CO2 emissions and pollution. And it kind of gave, always gave very good numbers. And in the end, when they were independently tested, they, they ran very dirty in, in reality. So it's, I see how it's similar and how an entire industry is trying to cir circumvene the rules and kind of find a way to, I, I don't know exactly, uh, maximize emissions, and, and and was it a competitive advantage to maximize emissions while still being able to pass regulatory testing? I don't know exactly, but we're we're here, and users are exposed to multiple times what they're supposed to, and and this SAR in the first place is probably should be lowered. Like the the rules that we have are so old and deprecated. So imagine it's just, uh, you know how how I see your work now that I that I think of it is something that uh, uh, Dr. Deborah Davis talked about in her book Disconnect, and it was one of the most uh, eye-opening books I first read to get in the topic of EMFs. And she talked about uh, car safety and how it took a lot of time for people to accept that there are certain features you should put in the car to save users who get on, on, in a car crash, right? And she said eventually the cell phone industry will have to uh, regulate itself. And you guys are ev all everyone who works at PhoneGate Alert and the industry insiders and everyone has shared your work and worked with you. I know there's a lot of volunteers. So really hats off and congratulations to all of you for the courage that you've displayed and all the thousands or millions of cumulative hours to bring this to justice and to start this movement towards safer cell phones because we're I think it's a, it will be a long battle but I'm very very happy that this is leading to real change in the industry and probably there's a lot of people in board meetings a lot of CEOs that say ah damn these guys phone gate alert now we got to change our things and the industry is becoming more and more aware that no regulation is going to be enforced at least in some countries and eventually all around the world right it's going to be a ripple effect so um this is very very important work um i know we're coming to the end do you have anything else you wanted to share about uh, uh your latest actions or maybe how people can donate i know it's uh, an organization that um uh, is funded by the public um so is it still the case and yeah, people can donate on the website yeah, it's very important for people because we, we need to stay independent. And, uh, yes. and the, our independence is the best way to to have uh, no pressure from anywhere. Uh, yeah. And uh, we are uh, working uh, on our team, uh, like with the support of all the people who are making donations. So it's, yeah, it's really important. But before... Uh, we, 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 we stopped the, the interview. I would like to maybe to, to, have to say one or two things because I have, sure. uh, 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 we, are, we have not been talking about health. And uh, I would like to say that uh, we, uh, because there is so many information and fake news too. 
about what, what's going on, and also about the the, the head cancer. And uh, I would like to say that in France now, the data we have, the last data from our uh, French national agency, which named Santé Publique France, it's for all the cancer, uh, we have uh, um, a growth of four-fold time of glioblastoma. Uh, they are really, yeah, yeah. It's what it's, so we we uh, in the thir- thirty years now. It was uh, a study for during the thirty years. Uh, we have a four-fold time uh, of uh, glioblastoma, and uh, f- just a number for people during the twenty last years. It was something like. Five, uh, 50,000 people died in, just in France from glioblastoma. Okay? Wow. Yeah. Just to, to imagine, because most of the time people say, oh, no, there is no growth of cancer, of head cancer. Yeah, that's true. So, yep. so I would like not to finish on, on this, but to, to say that that's the official data from France. Okay. And from our public agency, and all we said here, all the people can read it on our Forget Alert website or in the book, and they will find all the information. It's yep. official. And since I, I published the, the, the book in front and it was a good success, no one say that I was saying <laughs> wrong information. Yeah, so, yeah. And you know that because uh, our, all our work is... Uh, used now all, all over the world. So, wh- why it's so important? Because uh, if you uh, imagine uh, what's going on for all the country, you know, about the, the data we have in France, you see that I don't say that all the, the people died from glioblastoma was people uh, uh, directly uh, caused by by yeah. cell phone, you know. But if it's 10 percent, 20 percent or 50 percent, you see that it's going to be too much people, you know. I mean, we're uh, talking about so, hundreds of thousands of deaths, yeah, even if, yeah. if it's a, a mere fraction. That's the thing, because yeah. because of the number of cell phone users, we're talking the billions now, yeah. billions so and billions. It's yeah. why, Nick, I, I, I want people to be aware to change the first thing. And I repeat that uh, the, the, it's so easy to protect yourself and to protect your family, to protect your kids. So please don't put any more your cell phone <laughs> near the head. You can uh, you, you can use a speakerphone very easy most of the time. And please also don't put your cell phone is active when you put it in your in your pan pocket. You yeah. don't imagine he's active, but he is active and is making radiation. And you have to be aware about that and to change your, 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 the way you are using your cell phone. So if you have just one thing to, to remember of this, <laughs> of this discussion, it's not so, and to change your, 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 your use of, the, of your cell phone. So please, uh, <laughs> Tell that to all Canadian people, and uh, I, I know that uh, you, you will be a, a very good ambassador of uh, our message in Canada. And tell also that we are continue the fight in Canada with all all the organization, and we hope that we we will uh, because for, for the the data you can find the data of the test of the ISED in our website. Perfect. But what we have obtained in France, that we have now uh, a special uh, French uh, data from France. Okay, uh, we will try to have it the same for Canada. That to to force uh, the the, um, the government to publish the same that we have in France, the data, official data, with all the reports. And uh, it takes two years to have the uh, those uh, first data. Uh, but um, we are optimistic that we will obtain it uh, in a, in a few months, and uh, maybe we will talk about that uh, in, a, in, a, in another interview. For sure, yeah, I'd be happy to have, to have you on again. This is very important work, and um, 
I, I think we need to go longer for a few minutes because I have a technical question, but it's been in the back of my mind. A lot of people now are using Bluetooth devices more and more and more. And I know these are technically low power, yeah, and the SAR is lower, I think. I haven't seen all the, the, the facts about those, but generally they emit way less power than a cell phone, so that's okay. But they're inside the ear. So if we talk about real SAR, and we talk about something that is in ear, is anyone looking at the fact that maybe you have 20 millimeters inside your brain where you have maybe a Bluetooth earbud or something like that? Is there any independent testing that's done on Bluetooth devices given that every teenager or child out there has these Bluetooth things in their ears? A very good question, <laughs> because you, you... It was a question we asked the French government four yeah. or five years ago. Yeah. So we obtained it, and now we have, uh, it was a f something like three or four months ago, uh, our regulator, telecom regulator, INFR, made the first test, the SAR test, about the, the Bluetooth and, uh, okay. and okay. also the, um, as you said, that uh, piéton, yeah. Uh, so, uh, they, they, uh, what, what, you, what we can say that we, we are just at the beginning uh, to understand what's going on. Okay. They, they, you say this, you say this, and that's that's right. Uh, there is less radiation from uh, the the uh, when you test the SAR. Uh, it's better than a cell phone. Yeah. First. But I'm uh, what I, I, I why I'm afraid. Uh, uh, it's that to say that it, it takes too long time because people they keep it for for uh, hours, yeah. twelve not, hours a not, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not yeah. the same for for a cell phone, and that's a major problem. And you you are right to 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 talk about that. And also remember, uh, and we have this uh, uh, report from the uh, California Air Department from 2017, and you can find it also in our in our website. And what they said, and it was it's important not to keep the the um, the, the Bluetooth or the uh, the um, air, airbud in in uh, during uh, listening the the music or uh, visioning a, a film. They they already um, uh, make this recommendation uh, publicly. Uh, so it's very important. It was in 2017, five, year, five years ago. So, uh, and five years ago, they also said not to keep the cell phone near near the the body. Yeah. So, so you know that they are very aware about all this uh, issue, as issue, environmental issue. So, if you have something to say to people, talk about the the department. Uh, uh, California Health uh, Agency. You know, it's. Uh, I, I think it's the best reference for 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 now uh, for all uh, North America. Yeah, and I'll also refer to an article I'll put in the show notes. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's Joel Moskowitz, PhD, that wrote it. Uh, I might be mistaken, but you'll have the link. And he basically says, there's no reason to think that Bluetooth is safe. And that's really how we could put it, because if we have all these dangers with cell phones, Bluetooth is a similar frequency, except in many situations, it's a longer time of use compared to talking on a phone, which might be even heavy users, two, three hours per day, but Bluetooth might be 18 hours in the ear, right? And you have inside the ear. So I don't, I don't know. I'm just so uncomfortable with the idea that the dangers will be known when I am 80 years old <laughs> in, in 40, yeah, yeah, 45 yeah. years, basically. I, I hope it's before that, but it's really that lag that it's just, my God, it's, it's just too bad because again, if, if we think that some people at the moment, the culprit of their death is, is, is that technology, uh, even if it's, I mean, even if it's just a, a few thousand people, it's already tragic, but now we're talking about way more than that because of the sheer amount of users. It's almost every human being, or it will become so. So it's incredible. Uh, yeah, Dr. Yeah, Arazi, just, um, just any, any last words? That, yeah. yeah, just to say that uh, you, you, you are talking about the work of Joel Moscovich and, uh, 
uh, I could uh, have to say that you been making a very great work uh, in in US and uh, uh, all over the world because we are uh, all the people are following the the, the work of uh, Joel Moscovitz. Yeah. And also, I would like to say that to, to thank. Uh, uh, Debra Davis uh, from uh, Environmental Health Trust because mm-hmm. yeah, we are they are our partner in in the US and uh, uh, it's uh, with the uh, support of uh, Environmental Health Trust that we have made so many uh, possibility to to uh, to inform people all over the world. So I would like to finish with this to to thanks people that uh, that do who are also doing with us and supporting uh, the action of uh, fungi talent in in North America. Tremendous. Yeah, it's really I, I don't know what the the expression is. I might butcher it, but it, it takes it takes an army or something like that. It takes a village, right? So that's how this is in English, I think. But anyway, it's not just one person. It's I'm part of this movement too. I try to spread the information. There's you and there's so many great individuals and organizations that have been spending so much time on this. So if if you, the listener, are I- interested by any of this, please share. Please share widely with your friends, your family, and have them understand that this is serious. These phones are going to be updated and are going to be made, I cannot say safe, but safer in the future. But right now, we know they're unsafe and most of them are unsafe. And even if they followed the SAR, then there's good argument to say they're still unsafe. So anyway, uh, not good news, but don't keep it in their pocket, not to the head. So you have, you have this if you want to have uh, some yes, more information. Yes, the phone gate book, yeah, for sure. phone gate book. And uh, I suppose that, uh, you know, people need to, to, take, to, to take some time because it's... Uh, all those scandals are complex, and uh, if you you have to 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 inform you about all this issue. I, I suppose that people are going to 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 read it, and uh, we have this uh, great success in France because also we have uh, many media uh, who have been talking about the the, the book uh, about the fungi scandal. But I hope to be soon in Canada and in US, and that we could speak really face to face and uh, with uh, all the people because uh, I, I, it's always the same. Uh, the, the best thing is to be present in Canada or in US and I yeah. hope that uh, it will be possible soon. That will be tremendous and I, I hope that uh, your book will uh, really get widespread recognition and for sure if please buy the book share the book. Uh, there's the Kindle version also that I saw on Amazon.com. It's on ca.uk. It's all over the world in English version. So buy it, share it, talk about it. This is important. And it's right now we need to talk about it and not in 40 years, right? Because people, people's health and, and lives are, are really at stake here. Uh, Dr. Arazi, thank you so much. It's been, it's been a lovely interview and I, I can't wait to hear more about uh, the phone gate uh, alert actions in the future. Thank you very much, Nick. Thank you. Bye.